Grapplers are my favorite fighting style in fighting games. Now, can I pull off really good and complex combos with them? Hell no! I'm not that skilled enough to do that. But it feels insanely good to grab your opponent and do a lot of damage. I'm the Insane Metron, and today I'm just going to be doing a top 10 list of my favorite grapplers. Now, if you're friends with me or you've seen my mains video, um, you basically know who's going to be on the list already. I'm sorry I did not get this video out sooner. I made the mistake of playing Pikmin 4 when I was getting my tires changed, and uh, I got addicted to it, so. So without further ado, let's get on to number 10, starting off with Iron Tager from Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue was a thing before it exited since Arc Systems lost the license to make a new Guilty Gear fighting game. That's why Overture was a thing. A lot of the characters feel like the Guilty Gear ones, like Ragna is like Soul a bit, Jin is like Kai but uses Ice instead, and Tager is like Potemkin but uses Magnetism. I mean look at this color palette Tager has. It's literally Potemkin from the old games. But I like Tager. His command grab is awesome. That move he uses to grab someone off the ground feels broken. He has cool supers like this spinning one that could also turn into this. And Jameson Price voices him. Sorry to get off topic here, but it's cool that Jameson voices a lot of fighting game characters like Leo White Fang, Paul Phoenix, and the martial arts dude from Grand Blue that I keep forgetting his name. I don't play much of Blaze Blue, but I saw some of the story scenes and I laughed really hard. What does a man look for in a woman? What is the one thing that he can't ignore? Nice breasts. She needs ass! Yes! Ass! I'm sorry, um, but I have no idea what's going on here. So, now on to number 9, and it's Hugo from Street Fighter. I love Hugo. I recently started to play Street Fighter 3, since I didn't like Street Fighter 6 that much. But man, I'm having a blast with Hugo. Now, I went with Hugo because I love the faces he makes, and he's paired up with that baddie Poison. I really love his design, and when you throw someone against a wall, it is priceless. It's funny how both Hugo and Poison are from Final Fight. It's an old beat-em-up game, and that's what Haggard from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is from. And I love how Patrick Sates starts to voice Hugo in Street Fighter 4 and the uh, Cross Tekken game. Gotcha! Hey, <laughs> Hugo also looks like Andre the Giant, and that's awesome. That's all I gotta say about Hugo. Now with Hugo and Poison doing their job, let's get on to the 8th Grappler. And that's Wildstein from Under the Night. Now, Waldstein is an easy pick for me. He's from Undernight and Birth, and I don't know too much about him. But those claws look badass, and he has a long range for his grabs. He can do this spinning grab move that would make anyone throw up, and he has this cool charge move. I also find this air move hilarious. Waldstein just feels so badass, even though I don't play this game that much, I do like to see Waldstein being an absolute beast with those claws. Also, this Merkava guy reminds me of Eddie from Exert a little and I can't wait to get the second game. So with Waltzing massacring his opponent, let's get to number 7, Victor Von Gerdenheim. Victor is a weird character from Darkstalkers, and I love him. He's Frankenstein's monster, and he's really cartoony, and he grabs people with his ass. Need I say much? God damn, Wario finally has some competition. I really don't have a lot to say about him, but his ass speaks for himself. Now, it's time for number 6, and it's Android 16 from Dragon Ball Fighters. So Android 16 is really cool. I'm loving the artwork Arc Systems made for this and Guilty Gear Exerd. So, Android 16 can grab people out of the air, and I love doing that to my friends when we play this game. His one super you gotta be close to grab the opponent, but it's cool that you can combo into it. Also, I love his self-destruct super, and it's stupidly good in my opinion. So, 16 lunges forwards, and he automatically blocks everything. It even destroys an opponent at full health, and he has a sliver left after it's done. 
The only ways to avoid it is to teleport or jump, and he can only self-destruct once per match. Other than that, I picked 16 because he's one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters, since he loves nature and attempted to sacrifice himself to beat Cell. With 16 out of the way, let's get to number 5 for Cerebella from Skullgirls. So, Cerebella works for this mafia group called the Medicis, and she's an awesome grappler. She has all the muscles she needs from that hat she has. She has a lot of grabs like Diamond Drop, Merry Gorilla, Grab Bag, and Excelabella. She also has a reflector. She can fly in the air as a charge move that has different moves. She can stop like Potemkin's Hammerfall, does the famous Foss Super from Exert, does a Ram Attack, and this Grab Beatdown one. I also like her supers. Diamond Dynamo is just her spinning her arms around. Ultimate Showstopper is this cool grab one. Something spectacular! <laughs> and I don't like Diamonds Are Forever. The timing feels too strict to combo off of it. But Cerebella has a lot of options for a grappler, and she's pretty hot. I also love this Harley Quinn palette she has. Now with Cerebella doing her acrobatics, let's get on to number four, which is La Diva from Grand Blue Fantasy. So Ladiva is a trans grappler who runs the Jewel Resort Casino, and I freaking love her. Her command grab is awesome, you even gain more damage if you push a button to hype up the crowd. And if you do the enhanced version, you can combo into the grab. Ladiva even has an aerial command grab, and one where she grabs him out of the air. Plus she can headbutt three times. She also has this fast lorette move, and she has this unique grab where she dashes, and you can throw someone straight up or at the wall. Her supers are amazing. Two of them are almost the same, except one is a grab, and the other is a dash attack one, but her ultimate super is top tier. And everyone makes funny faces when their body slammed by her. Also, I love her song, and if you taunt, she removes her mask. Plus, she's voiced by Patrick Sates, and I love her intros. True love is gentle and completely selfless. It seeks to give, never to take. And selfishness leads to pain. While Ladiva is spreading love to the ring, let's get on to number three, which is Beowulf from Skullgirls. So Beowulf is a wrestler who has his own hype meter by doing a mic drop or listening to the crowd, or even doing his taunt, and he's the only other guy in the roster besides Big Ben. So Beowulf fights by throwing his chair around, wielding a gigantic arm, and having fun grab combos that rely on his hype meter. He can also do this flying attack move, summon his chair back after he throws it, and literally kicks an opponent out with a trash can. That is peak. He's also got some good supers too. A lot better than Cerebella's in my opinion. He lunges with his giant arm, does an air grab, Wolf of Mania grants some full hive so you can grab all your opponent, and this one where he drinks some milk and jumps over the moon. And you can do a follow-up attack if you have the hype for it. God I love playing as him. I also love how he has a Ganondorf, Batman, Alex, Big Boss, Incineroar, and Jack's palette, to name a few. And how goofy he is in his arcade mode. Oh, uh, wait. Is the rest of this place you too? Because I can beat that too. The Wolfman laying a smackdown on some seriously gross walls and squishy floor. Yeah. Get used to the decor. You're not leaving. I've still got my chair. Don't forget the chair. It's called hurting for a reason, baby. Perhaps you might consider using it for its intended purpose. And sick boy. So while Beowulf is hyping up the crowd, let's get to number two, and it's King from Tekken. So King is a pro Mexican wrestler, and he's my favorite in Tekken. King has a lot of grabs, and Muscle Buster is my favorite. 
and his grab combos took me a long time to figure out and how to do them. I can only fully remember one, but at least with enough time, I can still perform his other ones. I love launching someone in the air and then grabbing them and then doing this cool slam one, throwing them behind King, or doing giant swing. He even can grab someone when they're down, and I love this combo I can do in Tekken 8. King now has a sprint move and muscle armor, and they're fun to mess with. And I can't forget about Capital Punishment, Jaguar Step, Atlas Hammer, and Stagger Kicks. And it wouldn't be King if he didn't talk like a cheetah. That wall of muscle can't stop me! So, I have a lot of fun with King. And now before who I say is my favorite grappler, it's time for some honorable mentions. So, we got Alex from Street Fighter 3, Jax from Mortal Kombat, Craig Marduk from Tekken, Bullet from Blaze Blue, and Cinderor from Smash Bros. He's the closest to being a grappler in Smash. Tina from the Dead or Alive series, Astaroth from Soul Calibur, and Zangief. It would be a sin to not mention Zangief. Alright, now it's time for my number one favorite grappler. And if you know me, you already know who it is. It's Potemkin from Guilty Gear. Potemkin is my favorite because of his Potemkin Buster. It's really cool and it's satisfying to grab someone, especially since it does a lot of damage. His Heavenly Pop Buster is just as great too, and I love his Heat Knuckle animation. Also, he has this stupid super that acts like a shield so he can approach people, and I love it. He can also slam the ground, do his famous Mega Fist, and that Hammer Fall. I also love his design. I also like how his design has changed from the old games. And the X games, he's shirtless, has jeans, really cool gloves that give him his classic heat knuckle grab, and he still has that collar that he can freely take it off. Since in the first Guilty Gear game, Potemkin was a slave to the country Zep, until Gabriel freed him, and they were able to take down the corruption in it. That's also why he has a barcode on his shoulder. In Exert, they completely changed his design into more of a military uniform, but I really love it. It's funny how a lot of people think he's a robot due to his gloves and helmet. I mean, that helmet is badass though. What I also love about Potemkin is his car canceling. So basically, car canceling moves Potemkin forward by canceling his 6k move. It's pretty helpful since you don't have to spend half of your meter to drift from and cancel to grab someone. There's plenty of videos teaching people how to do it. I'm not going to do it because I'm still practicing it and I still mess it up. Plus, I'm not that good at explaining stuff, but it feels really satisfying to pull it off, though. Alright, those are my favorite grapplers. There's a lot more grapplers that I haven't mentioned, but those are the ones that I play and have fun with. The only downside of loving grapplers is being bullied by zoners. I'm looking straight at you, Happy Chaos. Also, I don't just play grapplers. I like playing different characters as well, like, I recently started to play as Testament because they are a certified baddie. So that's it for the video, um, I'm also sorry I don't post a lot more videos, I just haven't felt a lot of motivation to make more stuff, and plus I procrastinate a lot. I mean other than Pikmin, I've been watching a whole bunch of the Justice League cartoon and, and I have to take a break from One Piece because I finished all the Netflix episodes and I gotta get Crunchyroll, except I want to do it, I want to do it on payday so I don't have to worry about, um, so I don't have to worry about bills that much. And I really hate being an adult. So, uh, don't mind me rambling. Also, I have yet to finish Metroid Prime 3. I am close to being done with it. I, um, I'm trying to get all the items in it to get the good ending, you know? Especially since Metroid Prime 4 is on its way out. Now that we finally have a trailer for it, and uh, this is the last game I gotta play. I do want to talk about some of these games though, except they take a long time to fully record my playthrough of it, and um, you know, writing, writing a script for it, and hopefully that time will come, especially for that Xenoblade video I still got to make, because it's my favorite RPG, and I did have this cute, I did have this like, plan, I did have this plan to... 
I had this weird plan where I wanted to make a top my top 10 favorite games of all time, but I would do it first by talking about the games individually. Like the one Transformers thumbnail thing I put in my community tab, I've been working on it and I realized why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> but hope you guys have a nice day and see you later. Bye. <laughs>